Hey everyone, and thank you for joining me in this grounding practice today. I'm very excited to be practicing with you here on your mat. So um, if you have your chakra spray available, go ahead and give yourself a nice spritz. Otherwise, just start by taking a few deep breaths tuning into your environment and the space. Now let's begin on our backs. So go ahead and slowly start to roll backwards vertebrae by vertebrae onto your back. Allowing the soles of your feet to press into the earth. So your knees are facing upwards towards the sky and Throughout your practice, I want you to focus on the parts of your body that are touching your mat. So let's go ahead and place one hand on our belly, the other hand on our heart, and start tuning into our breath and slowing down and taking time and taking space for ourselves to be any way that we want to be right now. Really accepting however we feel and whatever we're going through right now in this moment. So this class is inspired by the root chakra. A chakra is just another way to say energy center and the root chakra is located at the base of our spine. It is responsible for our basic sense of survival and um, kind of just everything that we need to live on this earth. So when our root chakra is balanced, we feel a great sense of security and belonging. So let's go ahead and bring those positive feelings of security and let's just think about something that makes us feel secure. So maybe that is a person, maybe it's a family member or a pet, or maybe it's your bathtub, whatever it is, just Bring along those warm, fuzzy memories and really focus on expanding those in your practice today. See how you can ground into these feelings and kind of plant them into your body. And so we're breathing and grounding into these feelings. And we're allowing our belly to rise and our chest to fall every inhale, every exhale. Thank you. 
like to begin by moving very slowly into our practice today. So scoot yourself down your mat, allowing your fingertips to raise the backs of your heels. And we're gently going to lift our hips up to the sky for one, two, three. Exhale as you come down for one, two, three. Inhale as you lift up for one, two, three. Exhale, come down for one, two, three. Inhale, lift up one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Awesome work. And we're shifting back as we extend our left leg, pulling our right knee in towards our chest allowing the weight of gravity to bring our leg in closer to our body, keeping this very gentle. support you can take your left hand to your left hip and make sure that your hip is aligned with mat and your right hip it's not flying up to the sky or going to the side and take some breaths here breathing into any tight places and making sure you're not pulling too hard gently to the right and breathing in the expansion here and let's bring our knee back up towards our mat and our left foot comes in we're grazing our fingertips to the backs of our feet as we lift our hips up again for one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, lift up for one, two, three. Exhale, come down for one, 
two, three. Awesome. This time, right leg comes out straight, left leg goes up to the sky. And we'll take some nice big ankle rotations in a circle. And switching to the opposite direction. And point and flex. And point and flex. And point. Let's grab the outer edge of our left foot with our left hand as we pull our knee in towards our chest. Any amount is fine. Allowing gravity to open our body and definitely not forcing anything, just whatever feels right for right now. And we'll allow our left foot to cross our body, finding a nice recline twist in the opposite direction. Looking over our left shoulder and breathing deeply here. your chest, bringing both knees in towards your chest and wrapping your arms around your legs, giving yourself a nice big hug as we inhale and exhale. Together let's inhale and exhale. the soles of our feet back on our mat as we lift up and down, grounding our spine. We'll lift our hips up again and rise and lower down. One more time, lift up, exhale as you come down. Extend both feet out in front of you, lift your legs up, and this time grab the outer edges of your feet for a full happy baby, taking any organic movement that feels right to you, maybe it's moving side to side, maybe it's pulling one foot in, pushing one foot out, whatever it is, just Allow yourself to feel into your hips, feel into your body, and start to rock. Slowly just rock vertically on your spine, shifting forwards and backwards, not really trying to go anywhere, just kind of playing with the movements. And maybe you'll start getting closer to sitting. You can still go back and come up and go back and just play and play and play until you find your way in boat. Navasana, your feet can be touching the ground, your hands can be behind you for extra support. Any way you are, let's lower the feet and come into a nice cross-legged position. If you want a little extra space today, definitely grab a pillow or a block or whatever and sit on top of it. And we'll start to begin rotating our spine in nice big circles. So we're inhaling as we come forward and exhaling on our way back. Using our hands on our knees to kind of push our spine a little bit further, allowing a deeper opening, allowing more flexibility, and really 
just focusing on our core and how that's feeling today. Let's shift directions. So inhaling forward, exhaling back. Going at your own pace with your own breath. meet in center, taking a nice long spine, together let's inhale for one, two, three, hold it, exhale four, three, two, Circling your shoulders forward and just bring them up and around and up and around, loosening up any creaks, any sounds, releasing any tension, and let's bring them back and just go backwards. And me breathing into the space and just kind of gently. And go. Bring one shoulder to your ear and the other, and just keep bringing opposite shoulders. And let's lift our chin up and exhale as we round the spine. And we'll inhale, coming forward, and exhale, round back. Inhale as we lift up. And exhale, coming back, inhale, chin to the sky, exhale, on the spine. Mm. Hands can come to prayer if it feels right for you now. Otherwise, you can totally keep your hands on your knees. Let's take a moment to show gratitude for our body and for our mind for showing up today on your mat. And let's show gratitude for everything that has brought us to this moment. And gratitude for everything that has led us to where we are now. I'd like to show some gratitude for the earth, our special home. Know that we are never alone in our life. As humans, we tend to feel isolated, but we are all here together going through this experience and we're all going through the same emotions in different ways. So I'd like to thank you for being you and thank the world for being the way it is. Inhale, arms circle up to the sky. Exhale, hands come down towards your mat. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, gently lean towards your right side, reaching up. Inhale, center. Exhale, gentle reach to the left side now. Inhale, center. Exhale, left arm comes down, right arm reaches up. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, right arm down. Inhale, right arm up. Reach up. Exhale, left arm down. Now let's reach to the left side. Inhale, arms up. 
exhale, right arm down, reach to the right, inhale, arms up, and exhale, forward fold. back to center and we'll come on to our hands and knees making sure our wrists are under our shoulders and our knees are underneath our hips and we'll find a nice neutral spine up to the sky, exhale, arching the back, looking down, rounding the spine, inhale, push through the hands, tuck the toes, lift it up, exhale, flatten the feet, arching the spine, maybe rolling a little bit forward and back, forward, back. Really push through the arms, slowly lift up to rise. Exhale, arching the back. Inhale, tuck the toes, look to the right. Inhale, come center and look over the left shoulder. center back to the right nice C curve inhale look to the left flatten the feet come on to your hips and we're going to stretch our wrist out so taking our wrists and gently just rolling them out one at a time flipping them backwards Really just loosening up the joints, going in circles, circles in the opposite direction, flick some water, rotate around, serving the pizza, getting lots of mobility, play the piano, and continue making rotating movements with your wrists, just warming them up, nothing too serious, let's inhale, arms up exhale hands come down to our mats let's push back on our toes into our first downward facing dog of our practice today resisting any temptations to move let's just settle in at first you'll have opportunities to move around in a little bit just notice where you are now and where your body is naturally falling. Pushing firmly into the hands as we roll over our toes into plank position. Going to work through a little tricky core series, so stay with it. If you need to pause, rest, rewind, start again, whatever, do what you have to do, um, but you got this either way. Bringing our right knee to our right elbow, left knee to left elbow, right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow, right knee to right elbow, right knee to left elbow, left knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow, right knee to right elbow, right knee to left elbow, right knee to right elbow, left to left left to right, left to left, hold it, come down, relax the feet, knees, chest, chin, but up in the air as you push forward into baby cobra. Inhale, exhale, push back onto your feet and into downward facing dog, rolling forward on to your hands and knees. 
let's raise our right arm up in front of us I'm going to look at it and bring it down left arm comes up in front of us take a look at it exhale bring it down right leg comes back behind us and bring it down left leg comes back behind us and bring it down this time right arm comes up left leg comes back hold it and bring it down opposite hands opposite arms come up hold it and bring it down right arm comes forward left leg comes back and let's grab and bring it in towards our chest arching our back inhale as we extend again Exhale, arch the back, bring it in towards your center. Relax, put it down. Opposite arms, opposite legs. So left arm comes forward, right leg back. Exhale, arch the spine, bring it all in towards your center. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, bring it into the center and let it go. Great job, guys. This time we're going to add a little pulse. So right arm comes up, left leg back, pulse three, two, one. Exhale, bring it into the center. Inhale, extend, pulse three, two, one. Into the center, inhale, extend, and pulse. Let's bring it back down to tabletop. Extend left arm, right leg, pulse three, two, one. Into the center, inhale, expand for three, two, one. One, exhale into the center, pulse three, two, one, and back down to tabletop. Push up into plank and play with some balance here. So extend opposite arms and opposite legs. Definitely don't need to take anything too seriously. Just play around and um, feel your core and feel the strength in your body. And when you're ready, when you've had enough, push back into downward facing dog. And this time let's pedal out the feet, push into the hands, extend through our shoulders, bending one leg and bending the other leg, feeling nice lengthening in our spine and rolling forward into plank, knees, chest, chin, and lift up into cobra. Now coming back, downward facing dog. Let's take that right leg and bending the knee, taking some rotations in the hip. Allowing the knee to splay open towards the sky and bringing the knee in towards our right elbow. Right leg comes up, bringing the knee in towards our left elbow. Right leg comes up, right leg comes forward into the center, placing our foot on the ground and lifting up into Ajne Asana. Low lunge, inhaling, exhale as we roll forward, clasping our hands behind our back and lifting up, opening the shoulders, humble lunge. Inhale as we lift up again, Anjane Asana, low lunge. Exhale, come forward, lifting the hands, humble lunge. Inhale, coming back up into Anjane Asana, lengthen. And exhale, plant the left arm down, right arm comes up into a low lunge twist. Lower the back leg, come into a nice grounded vertical twist. Maybe taking a look at your right hand and allowing your left hand to lift up and reach towards the back of your mat. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down to your mat, lifting the right leg back up and rolling forward into plank. Knees, chest, chin, or Chaturanga Dandasana. Lifting up into Cobra or Up Dog and back into Downward Facing Dog. Pedaling out the legs, allowing the left leg to come up this time. Rotating the left hip.
rises, bring the left knee into the left elbow. Left leg comes up, left knee to right elbow. Left leg comes up again, left knee in towards the chest. Left leg comes up one more time and plant the foot in between your hands, grounding the back leg and lifting up into Anjane Asana. And exhale as you come forward, clasping the hands, lifting them up to the sky for a humble lunge. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, come back. Inhale, push through that front leg as you come up. Anjane Asana. And exhale, plant the right hand down, left arm comes up as you tuck the toes and lift up into a twisted lunge. And let's bring that back knee down to our mat as we come up into a nice grounded twist. Right arm comes up to the sky as we take a nice side body stretch. And let's cartwheel our hands back down towards our mat, framing our foot as we lift our left leg up and roll over the toes into plank, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga and move through your flow. We'll meet in downward facing dog slowly walking our feet up to our hands and finding a nice yogic squat this is especially a great pose for the root chakra because it brings our root chakra closest to the earth so i like to keep my hands in prayer and um, use my elbows to kind of allow my hips to open more or you can place your hands down on your mat for extra stability either way smile and breathe and if you feel guided to you can work on your balance by lifting your heels up and down maybe one by one and lowering them back down Let's lift our heels up and come back down. Place our hands on our mat and push up into a nice forward fold. Maybe grabbing the opposite elbows like a rag doll and swaying side to side. And bend the knees, place the hands on the ground, flat back, and exhale. Come down and lift up into a standing Tadasana. Mountain pose. So we'll inhale as we lift our heart up to the sky and exhale as we ground our feet into our mats our hands are like weights allowing our shoulders to relax close to the earth elongating our neck and we have full body awareness so standing tall and proud and maybe gently closing the eyes Taking a moment here to breathe and feel confident and comfortable where you are right now. If your eyes were closed, flutter the eyelids open again and we will meet at the top of our mats bending our knees as we lift our arms up to the sky, gentle back bend, and exhale as we swan dive forward, forward fold, 
inhale lift up flat back exhale plant your hands on your mat stepping back into a plank position once again we'll lift our right arm forward and left leg back our left arm forward and right leg back and then bring it down right arm comes forward left leg comes back and bring it down left arm comes forward and right leg back bring it down lower knees chest chin or chaturanga lifting upward facing dog exhale rolling back downward facing dog right leg comes up high to the sky and exhale as you bring it in towards the left elbow right leg comes up and in towards the right elbow right leg comes up and in towards the center of your chest right leg comes up one more time and firmly plant the sole of your foot on your mat you lift up into anjaneyasana again rolling forward on the foot clasping our hands behind our backs humble lunge Inhale as we lift up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, come forward, humble lunge. Inhale, lift up, Anjaneyasana. And exhale, ground the left hand, tuck the toes and lift up into a twist. Using the strength of your front leg, really grounding into your feet push up into a standing twist let's take the left arm lift it up to the sky and pivot forward rotating the hips finding ourselves in warrior two nice and strong reaching forward lifting up Peaceful warrior. Forward, let's place our right hand in be inside our right foot as we lift up with our left arm into extended side angle. Straighten through the front leg now as you lift up into triangle. And bring the left arm forward and down to the mat rounding the back leg as our right arm comes up and around and you can take a nice lunge here grabbing to the back of foot if that is available to you right now exhale coming forward into your leg taking a nice half split here Let's roll forward on that front leg, lifting up into Anjaneyasana again. And exhale, clasping the hands, humble lunge. Inhale as we lift up, Anjaneyasana. And exhale, come forward again into a humble lunge. Inhale as we lift up, Anjaneyasana. And exhale, frame the feet. Lifting up, our right leg up, planting and coming forward into plank. Go through your flow at your own pace. Left leg comes up and bring it in towards your left elbow. Left leg comes up and bring it across your body to your right elbow left leg comes up and bring it in towards the center of your chest left leg comes up again and place the sole of your foot in between your hands as you lift up into Anjane asana exhale come forward humble lunge inhale as you lift up Anjane asana exhale come forward humble lunge up Anjaneyasana exhale plant the right arm down tuck the toes as you lift up into a twisted lunge 
and pushing into the soles of your feet again use the strength of your legs the rooting of your foundations to lift up into a standing twist right arm comes up left arm comes back side stretch rotate spin it out coming forward left foot comes forward into warrior two reaching reaching as you lift up and back peaceful warrior left arm circles down to the inside of the left foot as you lift up through your right arm extended side angle grounding into the back leg as you straighten through the front lifting up into trikonasana triangle pose bringing your right arm down as you bend into the front knee lifting up and back with the left arm grabbing for the foot any amount is a-okay wherever you are in your practice today and letting go of the grip rolling back onto your sit bones as you inhale and fold into your left leg Hanumanasana planting the left foot firmly on the ground as you lift up Anjaneyasana exhale bending the knee clasping the hands behind your back humble lunge inhale lift up Anjaneyasana exhale come forward humble lunge lifting up and back Anjaneyasana slight back bend here and come forward framing your foot with your hands as you lift up and back three-legged dog one leg forward into plank and we're gonna do some shoulder taps so right hand to left shoulder left hand to right shoulder and keep switching do as many as you want as fast as you can just stay with the rhythm and move to your own beat and roll forward knees chest chin or chaturanga lift up and push back into downward facing dog great job slowly walk your feet up to meet your hands and exhale forward fold grab the opposite arms with opposite hands and inhale as you lift up flat back bend your knees and rise as you lift up exhale hands come down to the hips inhale bend your knees to rise up exhale dive forward forward fold inhale lift flat back plant the hands step back into plank knees chest chin or chaturanga lift up and back downward facing dog right leg comes up to the sky feeling a nice stretch and let's bring our knee into our right armpit and lower it down towards our right wrist and use all your core strength to bring it back up to your right armpit and back up to the sky awesome and bring it your right knee into your nose and bring the knee down towards your mat and use all your strength to lift your knee back up towards your face and back up to the sky great job one more time on this leg right knee to left armpit bring it da- back down towards your wrist use all your strength to bring it all the way back up and all the way back up and bring your right knee in towards the center again planting your foot on the ground in between your hands and lifting straight up into a high lunge this time making sure your foundations are fully set you are feeling fully supported by your feet and coming down into a humble lunge inhale as you lift up high lunge exhale same thing as before but standing this time we are in a humble lunge inhale as you lift up and exhale 
exhale, plant the left hand on your mat, right arm comes up into a standing twist. Left arm comes up and twist your right foot, comes forward, bending your right leg. Warrior two, bring your right arm up and back, peaceful warrior. Right hand comes into your right foot and taking extended side angle for the last time. Taking a bind if that's in your practice and reaching forward now, reaching into Trikonasana like you're holding a big giant watermelon. And allow your hands to fall to your right arm to fall to the mat. Lifting up into warrior two once again, planting into your feet, cartwheeling your hands down, lifting your right arm comes up and grabbing that back leg. Nice thigh stretch here. And let's open the hips out to so roll onto your outer edge of your front foot, open the heart and bring it back in towards center. And planting your hands on the mat as you bring your seat back to your foot. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, roll into your right leg. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bring your body in towards your leg. Plant the sole of your foot on the ground, heel toe, heel toe, your foot towards the, your left wrist and coming forward into pigeon. If this posture is a little challenging for you right now, you can use a blanket to support you by placing that behind your right hip. Wherever you are, inhale as you lift up, taking a slight back bend, and exhale, coming forward any amount. Allow your body to rest in this posture, even though it may not be the most comfortable, find comfort in the discomfort. And use your hands to help you rise as you take a gentle back bend and the left leg comes up and around, placing your ankle to your right knee inhale as you lift the heart up and forward exhale as you let it go folding into yourself bringing your attention back to your breath back to the sensations Inhale as you lift up to rise, taking the left leg and bringing it back as you spin around, finding yourself in downward facing dog, coming forward into plank, flowing through your vinyasa, meeting again in downward facing dog, left leg comes up and bringing our left knee in towards our left armpit. Bringing our left knee down and lifting it up into the left armpit and back towards the sky. Bring our left knee in towards our nose, down towards our mat, back in towards our nose and up to the sky. Left knee to right armpit, down to our right wrist, up to our nose and up to the sky again. Left knee comes in and center, planting our feet, firmly planting on the ground grounding into our strong lower bodies as we lift up into a high lunge exhale come forward humble lunge inhale lifting up exhale rolling forward humble lunge inhale 
as we lift up. Exhale, right hand down to the mat, left arm up to the sky. Pushing into our firm feet as we use our lower body strength and our core to lift ourselves up into a standing twist. And right arm comes up towards the sky. Left arm comes around as we lower our arm and bending in the front knee. Reach forward, up and back, peaceful warrior. And circle that arm down to the inside of your left foot. Right arm reaches up, extended side angle. Open the heart towards the sky. Inhale and exhale. Now let's ground into our feet, strong legs, as we use our core strength to extend our arms overhead, framing our face. And straighten that front leg as our right arm lifts up, Trikonasana. And let's bend into the front knee as we come up into Warrior Two. Cartwheel the hands down, left arm reaches up and back towards our right foot. Inhale, exhale. And bringing your seat back to your ankle as you inhale and exhale, bringing your heart in towards your shin. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, reaching forward. And let's plant the foot on the ground as we heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, our foot to our right side of our mat this time. And whichever variation you took on the other side, be sure to do it on your left side. And when you're ready, coming forward and Breathing into any space that feels tight or sore. If you feel pain, definitely back out. Pain is not okay in yoga. It's not necessary. You don't have to push yourself so hard. And as you inhale, use your hands to lift up. Bring your right leg up and around, bringing your right ankle to your left knee and coming forward into a forward fold. Awesome job, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful practice. Let's begin to lower back to our mats. Bringing our knees in towards our chest. Noticing any sensations in your body and how that has changed from the beginning of class. Placing your palms on your knees and taking some nice big rotations in the hips, circling your knees in the sky, and circle the opposite direction.
Let's bring our knees in towards our chest and plant our feet on our mat. Scooch ourselves down. Allow our fingertips to graze our ankles as we lift up for one, two, three. This time we're going to use our hands to support our lower back. So bringing ourselves into a nice supported bridge posture. This is one of my favorite poses in yoga. It's so relaxing for me. If you have blocks, feel free to use blocks, but I love using my hands because it just makes me feel more connected to myself. We're taking slow, deep breaths here. down to your mat mm, breathe placing your right hand on your belly left hand on your heart and not changing your breath just noticing how it feels to breathe windshield wiper the legs right to left maybe arms come overhead let's extend our right leg left leg comes across our body to the right side as we find ourselves in a reclined twist overhead, right knee comes in and across your body. back to center and taking a nice big stretch overhead and finding ourselves in a nice comfortable shavasana so hands come down and open next to our hips tucking the shoulder blades underneath our heart mm, forgetting everything 
Letting go of the mind. Bring attention to the breath and don't change it. Just accept. And slowly begin bringing awareness back to your breath. Begin deepening your breath. And start bringing some movement to your fingertips and your toes. When you're ready, taking a nice big stretch overhead. Rolling onto the right side of your body, making a pillow with your arms in a nice fetal position. First position you've ever known. And only when you're ready, try not to open your eyes, but use your hands to guide you up to a seating position. And take a few breaths here, bringing your hands to your heart. As you show gratitude for your practice today, for yourself, for bringing you to the mat and doing the work that you want to do to be a more grounded and stable and secure human being. This time spent is so valuable because it provides foundations for us to build the rest of our lives upon. And with this, I thank you for building these foundations with me. I am so grateful to be here and to be practicing with you. And I hope that you had a wonderful practice. I thank you for your time and your presence. If it feels right, feel free to bow your head to your heart or the mat and namaste. Yes.